I love our community. I love that you guys have questions you'd like to talk about and content you want to hear about, and uh, you bring them to me. And you know, I, it, to me, these these videos are a start of a conversation. It's a start of a place for you to explore your personal beliefs. And I I love that this that this happens. And um, I have a question today, which is a very simple question, and it, it basically is: Can you talk about stigmata? Stigmata. Well, I'm going to start talking about stigma, stigmata by starting with <laughs> the book of, uh, of John, one of my personal favorites. Um, <laughs> um, and it starts with, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And in Christianity, they want to tell you that the Word is, is Jeshua. And in reality, it means the Word means what you are saying and thinking is cre being created. Your thoughts and your words and your belief, your words and your faith are creating your experience. And when you look at that, the word, when in the beginning is the word, you start with the word, and the word was with God, and your words go out to this energy that surrounds us that is pure energy, and your hand and your eyes and your body is all that same energy, it's all one. So it goes out, our, our words, our contentions go out into this pool of energy. And then that image of that, those words and that belief is created in the image of God around us. That's why it says we are in God's image. We are literally in God's image. And so we, our words go out and create. That said, what we're experiencing is a grand illusion. Everything, everything you're seeing is pure energy. Einstein said it himself. He said, uh, an atom is an energy event, and there's nothing solid there. It's just an energy event. And so in there just being an energy event there, we also know that our thoughts are creative. You know, what you think you become, you create your world, Buddha. Uh, you are the culmination of your thought, Krishna. As a man thinketh, so is he the Bible, the Psalms, I believe it is. Um, uh, Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. Shakespeare said, there's nothing good nor bad, but thinking makes it so. Um, our thoughts are creative, and so our thoughts go out into the world and, and the illusion of the world, including our body, which is also the illusion of the world. Um, so when you're looking at your experience, and this, this is very esoteric, this whole conversation is very esoteric. When you're looking at your experience, um, I have seen people stand up from wheelchairs. I've seen people you know, put their canes, you know, forget to take their canes with them that they needed to use with extra people helping them walk coming in. I walked them back out to the car and then they realized they forgot their canes and their people. Right? Um, the more I talked to people, the more I, 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 you know, I, I've seen people step into those roles, I, I know full well that the healings that happened were them taking their belief, taking a different belief. And if they took a different belief, then they were healed, right? If you have a belief in the mystical aspects that were taught, like stigmata, and, you know, if you have a, the aspect of that, if you're told that, you know, the world is got uh, statues that cry tears of blood, and you believe that the, the statues having tears of blood, you're going to experience the statue having tears of blood. If you believe in stigmata, you're going to you're going to have the experience of stigmata in the physical body because your thoughts are creative. Your thoughts are creative. Now, a lot of people say, "Well, I didn't didn't think about stigmata," but I'll bet you at some point in your life you knew what stigmata was. And somewhere in your subconscious belief, there was this little underlying thing that said there's such thing as stigmata. And then something in your life triggered a spiritual crisis. And what happened was it manifested as the one belief it could latch onto, stigmata. So when I look at the people who've got stigmata and talk about stigmata, um, I think they have a very powerful faith and a, and a very powerful faith in what they've been taught and what they've seen in their life. And... Um, 
The interesting thing that's fascinating is the people who have stigmata usually have it in the palm of their hand, right? I witnessed the crucifixion in my regression. He was pierced here. And if, now let's just think about this logically, just logically for a second. You, you put a nail here. There is nothing stopping this nail from ripping that skin open all the way up through those two fingers. You put it, put it here. There is a, there's a bone U shape there that completely holds the weight. So it would make no sense to nail somebody here instead of nailing somebody, but it's here. They also bleed on the top of their feet. I have very distinct memories of him being nailed through the ankle bone to the side of the cross. Not, they didn't put a little platform on, on there for him to stand on. Sorry, it didn't happen. They, had, <laughs> they nailed his feet to the side of the cross through the ankle bone. Now, what's most fascinating about that statement is the only relic they have of a Roman crucifixion is a nail through an ankle bone. And... But the stigmata people have blood on the top of their feet, sometimes the bottom of their feet, and it's in their hands. So even the placement of the nails is where they believe it is from the imagery that they see. So stigmata really is a person of great faith exhibiting their belief physically in the image of God. And as the Bible says there, in my father's house there are many mansions. There are many ways to God. There are many ways to uh, reach the source. And you're going to come there through whatever belief you have, and you're going to get there, and you're going to go, oh, it's not really that belief because that belief can't encompass everything. But your belief is creating experience, and stigmata is exactly that, someone with great faith exhibiting their belief, and whether they thought it was intentional or not. That it was a belief that was created. So that's my thought on stigmata today. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.